doses. Good morning. Good morning. Stop it. Stop it, Papa. Okay. You're doing this in my hair, Papa. Good morning, Mrs. Reed. Good morning. Oh, yep, I'm on. Hi, Emmy. Hi, Alden. Good morning, Jasmine. Hi, Mom. Hi, ladies. Good morning. If you don't have socks on your feet, go get some so we can use them for our bean bag activity later. Okay, make sure you have socks on your feet. Good Hi, babes. How are you doing today? Hi, Valentina. Hello. Here you have some socks with you. Okay. Not on your feet? No. I will, I will bring your socks. Hold them up and bring them to our bean bag. Our bean bag song. Is that to, um, Make sure you have a pair of socks. Good morning. Good morning. Let's get started. Good morning. Okay. Mrs. Reed, can you hear me? Or can you? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Mrs. Martinez is trying to log on. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get started. And we'll go ahead. Oh, Alden's got his socks. Way to go. We'll go ahead and sing our good morning songs while we're waiting for Mrs. Martinez to log on. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places with smiles on our faces. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Today we are celebrating the letter. Anybody know that letter? Emmy, do you know that letter? I know Alden does. What letter is that? Alden is saying. What letter is it, Emmy? K. K. Way to go, Aiden. It's the letter K, and the K says k, k, like t, or kick, or kiwi. We're celebrating K. If you find something that begins with a K around your house, or if you do an activity that begins with K, post it on your Bloom page. All right, friends, our question for today. Are you wearing socks that match today? Look at your feet. Do your socks match? Yeah. Uh-oh, Eleanor doesn't have socks on yet. Ray's got some socks. If you have matching socks, socks that look the same, like this, give me a thumbs up. If your socks look different, like this, give me a thumbs down. All right, we're gonna do a count. Hold your thumb up so I can see it. I see, oh, Mrs. Jex has a thumbs down. Her socks are not matching. Emmy has her, her thumb up for matching. Alden has matching. Yes, do you have matching socks or mismatched socks? How about Mrs. Reiner? Mrs. Reed, I don't have any socks on. Oh, she doesn't have any socks on. Oh no. 
How about Valentina? Do you have matching socks or mismatched socks? Mismatch socks. Eleanor, do you have matching socks or mismatch socks? Mismatch, all right. How about Raylan? Raylan, are your socks matching or mismatch? Raylan has matching socks. Um, can't see that friend that's laying down, Mrs. Jex. Who am I missing here? Um, okay, uh, Hayden, do you have ma matching socks or mismatched socks? Matching. Is it uh, Vade right next to Hayden? <gasps> yeah. Um, okay. Vade oh, says I see it. Up. He's got a thumbs up. All right. And then Main. I think I have a few others that I don't know who they are. <laughs> if you could help oh. me out with that. Main, right next to Hayden? Yes. Okay. Main. Do you have matching socks or not matching? She not says matching. not. Okay, thank you, Main. And Lam, are your um, socks matching or not matching? Matching? Okay. All right. Harrison, do your socks match or not match? Oh, he says thumbs up. All right. Anna Dinjay has a thumbs up. Okay. All right. I think that's everybody. I think so. So help me count. All of these friends have matching socks. Help me count from your house. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight friends with socks that match today. This is me. Could, could the friends who have matching socks show us their matching socks? Sure. Let's see those matching socks. You have matching socks. Stick them up in the camera. Don't fall off your chair, though. <laughs> oh. Ooh, look at all those matching socks. Oh, it NJ, nice. Vade has matching socks. <gasps> Very cool. Okay, thank you, friends. Okay, now let's count the friends that have mismatched socks. Help me count from your house. One, two, three, four. We have eight matching, four mismatching. Which number is bigger? Which number is more? Eight or four? Eight. Eight is more. You're right. Way to go. Not sure who said that, but you were right. <laughs> Way to go, friends. Okay, if your socks are not matching, let's see your mismatched socks. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Jex are mismatched. She has owls and stripes. Way to go. <laughs> All right, that's great. Okay, now we're going to get up and do some moving. So if you don't have an extra pair of socks, take the ones off your feet and we're gonna fold them up like this. And we're gonna make a bean bag. We're gonna do a bean bag song to get our bodies moving. I'm gonna turn this way, otherwise I can't stand up where I'm sitting. And hopefully my CD will play for us. Oh, and it's not wanting to. Let me try one more time. While you work on that, Mrs. Reed, maybe we can do practice with our socks while well, you can get that ready. Sure. But Tap our head and count to, see how high we can count until Mrs. Reed stops us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. She told us to stop. Okay, should we stand up? We should stand up. Let's get our bodies moving. All right, hopefully this will work. There we go, okay. 
Can you hear it okay? Catch your socks. Shake, shake, shake your bean bag. Shake, shake, shake your bean bag. Everybody come on, shake your bean bag. Shake your bean bag, don't let it drop. Let's all do the bean bag rock. Hold the bean bag on your head. Hold the bean bag on your knees. Hold the bean bag on your tummy and wiggle it around if you please. If you please, hold the bean bag way down low. Hold it high in the air and don't you let it go. Now shake and wiggle what you do in the bean bag. Shake, shake, shake your bean bag. Shake, shake, shake your bean bag. Everybody come on, shake your bean bag. Ooh, shake your bean bag, don't let it drop. Let's all do the bean bag rock. Hold the bean bag on your elbow. Hold the bean bag on your toes. Hold the bean bag on your ear. And let me see you wiggle your nose. Wiggle your nose. Hold the bean bag way down low. Hold it high in the air and don't you let it go. Now shake and wiggle what you do in the bean bag. Rock, shake, shake, shake your bean bag. Come shake, come shake, come on, shake your bean bag. Shake, shake, shake your bean bag. Stop. It's called the bean bag rock. Way to go, friends. You got your hearts a pumping this morning. Nice job. Okay, to, this morning we're going to watch a video from Miss Corey and Miss Annette. So I'm going to try and pull that up. And let's see. Here we go. All right. Whoops, I got to get up here. Okay, friends. Have a seat, and here we go with Miss Corey and Miss Annette. Maybe. <laughs> We're thinking and thinking. But I like oh. ham and cheese. Oh, I'm let me moldy. back that up. All right, Hi. now we're ready. Hi, Miss Corey. Hi, Miss Annette. Hello, friends. Hello, everybody. Hey, Miss Corey, I have a question for you. Yes. Do you eat lunch every day? I do eat lunch every day. I love to eat lunch. Do you, do eat, you eat lunch every day? I do. What do you like to eat for lunch? Ooh, let me think. One of my favorites is grilled cheese sandwiches with tomato soup and some carrot slices with ranch to dip. How about you? That sounds great. I like sandwiches too, but I like ham and cheese on whole wheat, and I like the bread sliced. And I like to have a bag of chips and an apple. And to me, that tastes really good. So I wonder, speech friends, you could go ask your mom or your grandma <clears throat> or somebody else that lives with you in your house, what do you like to eat for lunch? And then you can talk about that. It'll be fun. Today, we are going to look at uh, four words, map, tat, mat, and wag. And when you think about those words, they start with some speech sounds. You can say they start with letters, but we want to talk about speech sounds. One of the sounds is wa, and you can do it like this. Wa. Another one is the mm sound, and you, and you can go mm, like you're blowing a kiss. Another sound will be k. That's way in the back of your mouth, and so we put our thumb at the back of our chin so that you go very nice miss corey let's have a look okay let me share my screen we have a fun activity for you today friends where we are going to look at some of these sounds can you see my screen okay i see it okay very good so we're gonna look at these 
letters up here and we're going to think about what sounds they make. Let's see. Mmm. We practice that one. M says mmm. Mm -hmm. A. Which what picture do you think that word sounds like? Mmm. A. Would it be a map? Jam? Or a man? What do you think, friends? You're right. It's a map. Oh, here's another one. Remember the sound. <laughs> uh, t. Uh, t. Does that sound like cat, bag, or van? You're right again. It's a cat. Here's another one. Mm, uh, mm, uh, Does that sound like mat, hat, or wag. I think so too. It sounds like mat. Okay, ready? Ooh. Eh. Wag. Wow. Oh, the answer. <laughs> You're right. You see that dog wagging his tail? It didn't sound like mad or fan. This word says wag. Let's check the dog. That is definitely what dogs like to do. Yeah. Wow. Okay, next one. Mm. 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 Mad. I think that sounds like mad. Matt. Mad. Mad. Hmm, this is a tricky one because we really have to pay attention to that sound at the end. Mad. Mad. Yes, to me it sounds like mad. J, a, mm. Does that sound like jam, mat, or bat? J, a, mm. Yes, we said jam. Very good. I'm going to stop sharing so we can chat some more, Miss Annette. Yeah, fun to look at those. It's fun to listen to those sounds and make those sounds with our mouths. And when we do that, our brain starts remembering, oh, I have to go mm for the M sound or what for the that water, that what sound that was in WAG. And but today we had lots of nice pictures to look at and think about that. So today you could also go around your house and find something that starts with mm or what. Or, for example, I have water. And I think you probably have water in your house, too. Have fun today. Enjoy yourselves. Good to see you. <laughs> Bye. All right. Okay, friends, our time for this morning is just about up. Don't forget to look around your house for something that starts with the letter K and post it on your child's, uh, on your teacher's blooms page. This afternoon when we come back at one o'clock, you're going to need a couple of supplies, so make sure you're paying attention. Are you ready? You're going to need a piece of paper. Hello. You're going to need some sort of writing Sorry utensil. Sorry delay, Mrs. Dix is oh. very good at pushing the wrong <laughs> buttons and I think I got into our night. What are we, <laughs> we're, we're sharing something. Is that on your computer, Mrs. Reed? I wonder if it's on the YouTube. Hang on just one second, let me look. Okay. I think it is. It sounded like All right. Okay. Sorry about that. Oops, and I, am I still on or did I lose everybody? Oh, sorry, we see you. Okay, I can't see you, <laughs> but I'm just gonna talk to my computer. So you're going to need a piece of paper this afternoon, a writing utensil, and then you need some uh, simple shapes that you can trace on the inside. So for example, some cookie cutters. So you can trace inside some simple shapes, nothing fancy. Here's some cookie cutters I have. This is actually a mason jar lid, so you could trace the circle. And if you don't have anything like that at your house, you can make something. You could use cardboard and cut some shapes out, or I used a butter lid. 
and I made this shape here, which is uh, anybody? Square shape. There you go. You're right. And this one, it's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. That's right. That's a rectangle. So if you don't have something like this or a cookie, no, I got shape, off. you can I don't do like that. Have. Hold up and cut out some shapes from cardboard or a uh, butter lid. All right. I think that's everything we need for this afternoon. So we will see you all at one o'clock. Bye. Good morning. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you later, alligators. Bye. 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 Bye.